Hey guys, it's Shayna. It's Tuesday. At least I hope it's still Tuesday by the time this video goes up. Um, I'm so sorry this video is up so late, but it is now uh, 10 to 10 p.m. and I've been out of the house since 9 a.m. Um, but I really wanted to answer your guys' questions because it's Q&A week and I have some questions that need answering. Uh, some of them are from the Lesbian Central Tumblr and Facebook and some of them are from my own personal Tumblr and I'm going to try and get through them as fast as possible. So let's begin. How old were you when you first came out? It kind of depends on who you ask, but I did the majority of my coming out between the ages of 19 and 21. How do you cope with feeling like you're going to be stuck in the closet forever? So first off, um, this sounds like a really frustrating situation, so I'm sorry whoever submitted this question is feeling like this. Um, but a really good way is uh, to find a community with whom you can talk to and feel supported by. And one of the really good ways to do that that I've actually heard uh, from people who maybe feel like they can't talk to people in their real life about this is by finding communities online through things like YouTube or Tumblr and finding uh, people who you can express yourself to that way without necessarily having uh, some of the repercussions that might come along with expressing yourselves to people in your real life. Would you date someone who was transgender or outside the gender binary of male and female? Yes, I would. If you could be one male actor, who would you choose? Morgan Freeman. I would marry myself if I had that voice. Why do people tell themselves they're not good enough? I think a big reason is because we live in a world where we're constantly told that we're not good enough just the way we are. Uh, we're constantly told that we need to buy this and do that and change this in order to improve ourselves. So when you're living in a world where you're constantly saturated with the message from basically the time that you're born that the way you are isn't good enough, there are going to be lots of people who take that message and internalize it and start to believe it themselves, unfortunately. Which would you rather, marry someone five years younger than you or eight years older? So I have a choice between marrying an 18-year-old and a 29-year-old. Um, I think I'm going to choose the 29-year-old. No offense to any of the 18-year-olds watching, I'm sure you're all lovely people. Um, but A, you are barely legal. And B, I think I'm probably more likely to find a 29-year-old who's more ready and able to make a commitment to something like marriage than an 18-year-old. That being said, I myself am nowhere near ready for marriage, um, so, you know, there goes that question. Which of the lesbian central girls do you think would win a fight on Jerry Springer? I think I would have to go with either Lauren, Maddie, or Kay. I have heard tale of Lauren getting into it, uh, particularly when there's alcohol involved. I can also see Maddie not backing down if something pisses her off enough. And I don't know Kay all that well. I've met her once and like I've watched her videos and spoken to her online and stuff, but I kind of get the sense that she has the possibility of maybe having a bit of like a feisty, scrappy side to her. Um, I'm gonna be seeing her at Pride this year, so uh, maybe that question will be answered then. Are you single? No, I am not. Why is there a fear of falling in love? I think there's less so a fear of actually falling in love, uh, which is generally a pretty nice thing to experience, but more so a fear of some of the factors that often go along with falling in love. So the fear of making yourself vulnerable and the idea of someone else having such uh, an amount of influence on a pretty significant feeling in your life, such as love. What is the difference between bisexual and pansexual? So these are the way I understand these terms, and feel free to disagree with me if you have a different understanding or definition of these identities, um, but I'm going to try and explain them really fast. So bisexual comes from the idea that there are only two genders, male and female, and uh, people who identify as bisexual are people who are attracted to uh, or have the potential to be attracted to either men or women, while pansexual comes from the idea that there are more than two genders, um, um, the prefix pan meaning all or any, and uh, pansexual people are either attracted to people of all genders, um, but I've also heard it described as gender just not playing a role at all in uh, their attraction towards someone. That being said, there are people who do identify as bisexual who do feel attraction towards people who don't necessarily fit in the binary of male or female, but uh, they just simply feel that the label of bisexual works the best for them, and that's okay too. Would you rather burn or freeze to death? If there was a neither option, I would take that, but if I have to choose one, I guess I would say freeze. I mean, I live in Canada and I practically freeze to death uh, every winter, so I feel like it wouldn't really be anything that new. 
why do lesbians like to pick a label of what kind of lesbian they are? Like lipstick lesbian, uh, butch lesbian, stud, etc. Because some people like to have language and words that describe parts of their identity. Is your hair natural? I'm not sure whoever asked this is referring to the color or the curliness of it, um, but in both cases, yes. How do you deal with someone who thinks being gay is a choice? Ask them when they chose to be straight, or when they chose their hair color, or when they chose to be right or left-handed. And then say, yeah, that's what I thought, and then flip your hair and walk away. So that's all the questions that I had. Um, I'm sorry if this video is a little lengthy, but I wanted to try and get all the questions answered as best I could. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, oh, just a reminder, Haley mentioned it in her video yesterday, but we are going to be having a tiny chat uh, next Monday, I think? Monday the 16th? I think that's next Monday. Sorry if it's not, but it's Monday the 16th, and uh, it's going to be from 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so uh, you should try and figure out what time that is if that's not your time zone, and make sure that your adorable butt is there, because we want to talk to you guys, and we want to answer more of your questions and stuff like that. So um, that's going to be happening on Monday the 16th, and we really hope to see you there. And uh, that's pretty much it for me this week, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of the week, and I will see you all back here same time, same day next week. Actually, hopefully a little earlier than 10 o'clock p.m. or whatever time this video happens to get up on YouTube. So I will see you all guys then, and have yourselves a wonderful rest of the evening. Bye, guys.